Good day everybody. Welcome to the Garmin Phoenix 7 Pro tutorial series. In this video, I will assume you know the basic functionality of the watch and know how to access all the relevant menus. If you are unfamiliar with the watch controls, please go to the overview video first. You can either click on the card at the top right or follow the link in the description below. Now on to the topic at hand. Continuing with our main menu items explanation, we access the main menu by pressing and holding the menu. We scroll past the first three settings to get to the actual settings here. The next one we're going to do is notifications and alerts. So if you select that, you will see two options. First option is smart notifications. This is notifications that will be sent from your phone to your watch. Now I've only got an Android phone, so the options here will be applicable to people who pairs their watches with Android phones. So if you select smart notifications, there's an overall status on or off that you can select to receive notifications from your phone or if you do not want. Then the next one is general use. So if you select that, you will get all the different notifications types that you can receive and you can change that each individually. So for instance, if I receive a call on my phone, on my phone and it sends a notification to my watch there's a call what should it do if you select that you can either switch that individually on and off you can tell it the tone must ring or it must go on vibration either one of the two or both of them and that will be the same for any of these options so if you receive a text should it receive the text notification on your watch or not should the tone ring should the vibration go on or off that setting can be changed for app notifications as well. Privacy means that the notification will not come up on your watch face immediately. So if you select that, you can have the privacy off. So whenever notification comes through, it's going to show on your watch face at that time. Or you need to press start to see the notification. Or you need to raise your wrist to be able to see the notification. The next option here is the timeout. How long should that notification show on your watch face? Um, you've got a couple of options, 30 seconds, one minute, three minutes. Then we can choose to see notifications during activity or not. So if you select that, you're going to say yes or no. Um, what the off means is that while you're doing activity, then any notifications from your phone to your watch will not show up on your watch face. Signature, you can switch on or off. This is just to add a signature if you were to respond to a text message or a WhatsApp on your watch. It will automatically put a signature at the bottom. So you can select that on or off. The next option we've got on notifications is our system alerts. This is alerts that is generated by the watch itself and doesn't come from your phone. So if you go in, we've got a couple of options. So you can set time alerts. You can alert, let your watch alert you if what, how many minutes are left before it is sunset, how many minutes are left before sunrise. This is quite handy, for instance, if you're hiking. If you, know, if you want to know when you need to set up camp, let's say you know you need an hour to set up your camp or your campsite or your tent or whatever then you can set your total sunset time to one hour or 30 minutes or whatever you need so you do not get stuck in the dark same with sunrise then you can also have an hour hourly alert so your watch will just make a notification on the hour next one we've got barometer so if you select that you can put on storm alert you can have a couple of settings if this is on. You can tell it um, what the rate of change in the pressure must be for it to alert you. This is just so that, again, for instance, if you are hiking, that you do not get caught out in, in a storm or a sudden storm. Next one, we've got phone connection alert. Only thing that this does is that your watch will alert you whenever you lose Bluetooth connection with your phone. Uh, the only reason I could think why you would want to do that is, for instance, if somebody would take your phone, uh, then you will know if it's if your phone is gone from your watch and you can immediately start looking for it. 
Then we've got a couple of health and wellness alerts. You can set up a move alert so that your watch can remind you to move a bit. So if you're sitting at the office, for instance, and you're sitting there working for a couple of hours, then your watch will actually alert you to stand up and do some activity. Maybe just walk to the bathroom or the kitchen or just walk around the office a little bit before you go sit down and work again. So just not stationary all the time. Then you can set your goal alerts. Now your goal alerts will be stuff like if you have reached your step target. Now you can either have it on or off or not during activity. So the watch will not tell you when you've reached any of your goals while you're busy doing an activity. Abnormal heart rate alert. Your watch can actually alert you if you've got some abnormal heart rates. You can set that to a high alert and then you can obviously also set the beats per minute that it must alert you at. And then also you've got one for a low alert if your heart rate goes below a certain amount. Next up, we've got the battery. The battery alert will alert you um, a certain amount of time before your battery will go dead. At this moment, this one is set for one day. If you can change that to a couple of options. So for instance, uh, two days or three days before your battery is going to die, it will alert you and then you can make plans to get um, it charged up. Next option we've got here is our jet lag advisor. Jet lag advisor only works if you have a trip that you have actually added to your Garmin Connect calendar. What the jet lag advisor will do then is, here's a couple of options. Um, it will advise you on all of these if you've got them selected on, on what you can do to minimize the effect that this trip will have on you before you leave and after you have arrived at your destination. So for instance, it will tell you when to take naps before you leave, um, what amount of caffeine to take, when and, to, and um, how much. If you need to take some melatonin, um, give you some nutritional advice before you leave and also after you've arrived at your destination. And all of this is just to lessen the effect that jet lag have on you. So that is the alerts menu settings.